Elizabeth I was born on September 7, 1533, in Greenwich, England, to King Henry VIII and his second wife, Anne Boleyn. Elizabeth was the second child of Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn, who was executed just two and a half years after Elizabeth's birth. Elizabeth's half-sister Mary was declared illegitimate and Elizabeth was also declared illegitimate by her father. She became Queen of England in 1558 after the death of her half-sister, Queen Mary I. Elizabeth was 25 years old when she ascended to the throne. Her accession was welcomed by most of her subjects, as Mary I's reign had been marked by persecution of Protestants and political instability. During her reign, she established the Church of England as the official church, separate from the Catholic Church. Elizabeth's religious policy was one of compromise between the Protestant and Catholic factions in England. She established the Church of England as a Protestant church but allowed for some Catholic practices to continue. Elizabeth's reign is known as the Elizabethan era. The Elizabethan era was a period of great cultural and artistic achievement in England. Elizabeth was a patron of the arts and supported many famous writers, musicians, and artists of her time, including William Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, and Ben Jonson. Elizabeth was committed to maintaining England's naval power, and her support for exploration and trade led to England's rise as a major naval power, with maritime adventurers like Walter Raleigh and Francis Drake. The defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1588 was a significant victory for England and cemented its position as a major world power. Elizabeth faced many challenges during her reign, including assassination plots and rebellions. The most famous of these plots was the Babington Plot, which aimed to assassinate Elizabeth and replace her with Mary, Queen of Scots. Elizabeth's relationship with Mary, Queen of Scots was one of the most significant challenges of her reign. Mary was a potential rival for the throne and was involved in several plots against Elizabeth. Eventually, Mary was beheaded for treason in 1587. Elizabeth was a highly intelligent and politically savvy ruler. She was known for her sharp wit and her ability to outmaneuver her opponents. Elizabeth was famous for her refusal to marry, despite having many suitors. Which led to her being called the Virgin Queen. She believed that marriage would undermine her position as queen and lead to instability. Robert Dudley was a close friend and favourite of Elizabeth. She made him the Earl of Leicester and granted him many honours and titles. Elizabeth was in love with Dudley, but he was married, his wife mysteriously died from falling down some stairs in 1560. Some say he killed her so he could marry Elizabeth, and she seriously considered the marriage, but in the end she was dissuaded from the marriage. Elizabeth was an active and athletic person. She was a skilled horsewoman and enjoyed hunting, hawking, and other outdoor activities. Elizabeth was famous for her elaborate and extravagant costumes and jewelry. She used fashion as a tool of diplomacy and propaganda, as her outfits often featured symbols of her power and authority. She also encouraged her courtiers to follow her lead in fashion, making fashion an important part of court life. Elizabeth's court was a center of cultural and artistic achievement. It attracted many artists, musicians, and writers from across Europe, who were eager to be a part of the vibrant and exciting cultural scene at court. Elizabeth was highly educated and spoke several languages fluently. This allowed her to communicate with foreign dignitaries and to read and appreciate works of literature in their original language. Elizabeth was a skilled public speaker and was able to connect with her subjects through her speeches and public appearances. She was known for her charisma and her ability to rally her subjects to her cause. Elizabeth's reign was not without its military conflicts. She faced several rebellions in Ireland and fought a war against Spain, which culminated in the defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1588. Elizabeth was committed to expanding England's power and influence around the world. She supported the colonization of America and the establishment of trade routes with India and China, which helped to cement England's position as a major world power. Elizabeth's relationship with her advisers was often fraught with tension. She relied heavily on the advice of William Cecil, but their relationship was often strained, as he frequently disagreed with her policies. Elizabeth's reign came to an end with her death on March 24, 1603. Elizabeth died at the age of 69 after a long and successful reign of 44 years. She was succeeded by her cousin, James VI of Scotland, who became King James I of England. Elizabeth's legacy as one of England's most successful and influential monarchs has endured to the present day.